Yes, yes. Welcome in again, everyone. It's the One Burner Bachelor. Right here in our sauté pan on the One Burner is some onion. We just quartered it. Nothing else in the pan. We're letting it sweat a little bit and brown a little bit. The smell of onions, which is a great flavoring vegetable and a great flavoring item to anything, isn't one of Angelo's favorites. So yes, we're here high above the sea, 37 steps up in our small penthouse apartment, but Angelo has opted to hang out outside <laughs> because he's not a big fan of onions. All right, don't cut your onions up too small if you're going to cook them off because there's a lot of moisture and water in them and they'll dissolve to almost nothing. And if you do add butter or oil to speed up the cooking or the sauteing of your onions, they're going to brown really, really fast because the oil or the butter is going to get so hot so fast it's going to begin to cook your onions. So we have no liquid in here at all. We're just, we have it on medium, a little more than medium heat. We're turning it down now. And we're just going to let the onions kind of maybe blacken a little bit or just kind of do their thing. But the flavor's coming off them. The one burner bachelor. We'll be back. Okay, we just coated the onions, of course, letting them sweat a little bit. We've already steamed a little water away in our pan just to make sure there's no bacteria and everything is extra safe to prepare. But now we need some moisture for our onions. They've kind of separated a little bit. They're starting to do their thing. So, yep, we're adding some beer. That's going to steam a little bit because that pan is hot. Hot enough to get the onions to sweat, but not too hot till they stick or they over, overcook. All right, so now we're going to let that fabulous imported beer mix with those onions, and we'll take it from there. We'll be back. The One Burner Bachelor. Okay, we're back. Onions. Say cebollas, I think you call them in Spanish. And I learned this about onions. There's all kinds of wives' tales, I guess they call them, about how to prepare onions without them making you cry. Rinse them under water, eat some bread, whatever it is those are. But what I've learned, and maybe I'm wrong, but because I use that Spanish say cebolla, say cebollas, um, the lacrimas gland is a gland in your eye. And the Spanish word for tears is lacrima or lacrimas or lacrimando, I guess, if you're crying. And the fact that I've learned is there's a chemical in, say, cebollas, in the onions, that attacks that lacrimas gland and makes you cry. All right. It's got nothing to do with rinsing them, under, rinsing them under water or nothing to do with chewing on bread. The best way to keep onions from making you cry is just to prepare a few at a time and not hang out over them. Because that chemical attacks your lacrimas gland, which makes you cry, which is a Spanish word for, which lacrimas is a Spanish word for cry or tears. Okay, we had some fun today. We went out with Ronnie G to Taco Bell to reload on all of our spices and our plastic silverware and our napkins. So we've added, added a package of salsa, hot sauce, medium sauce, and Diablo sauce to our uh, say cebollas to try to keep us from crying. It smells great in here. It must have made Angelo cry because he hasn't come back. The One Burner Bachelor will be back. Okay, we're back. The One Burner Bachelor. Truth be told, <clears throat> when I started this dish with the onions and the flavoring, I really didn't know what I was going to add to it or do with it. And the only thing I have is a package of ramen noodles. There's a chicken flavor packet, but they're just those noodles that were... Oh, ten for a dollar way back when I was in college. These ones were three for a dollar. So that's what I've kind of added this for some starch or for something to happen. So yes, I had to add some water back to the pan on the one burner bachelor. Not just more beer because that's probably going to cook away too quickly with the alcohol in it before the pasta or the noodles, the ramen pride noodles, get to soften and do their thing. So as that begins to soften, and thicken my dish, let the, some water steam away. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to add that chicken seasoning packet yet, which are very salty. That's one of the things about those dishes is they're very salty. And the onions, 
our awesome natural salt flavor. And of course, I have those packets of the different flavors from Taco Bell that I've added. And I can always add one or two more of them instead of adding something that may be salty and ruin the dish. All right, a little over five minutes in on a beautiful evening, 37 steps up in the penthouse apartment, high above the city. Okay, we're back. And we absolutely decided not to add that very salty chicken flavored packet that comes with the chicken flavored ramen noodles. Instead, we've added another three or four packages of the different flavors of the Taco Bell sauce from salsa to hot to medium to Diablo. And uh, it smells awesome in here. We're just going to mix it around. So this costs us 40 cents for the noodles because they're actually no. They're 40 cents a piece, but three for a dollar. So 33 and a little bit, 33 and a third cents for the noodles. The packets from Taco Bell were free, but we did have to go there for lunch. So I guess they cost me something because I had to buy lunch before I grabbed them. The onion, the nice guy from Z and O's convenience store, one of our supporters across the street, gave me the onion for nothing. So cheap, 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 fancy no, but enough to fill us up tonight. The One Burner Bachelor on a beautiful evening high above the city in the penthouse apartment. I was kind of hoping Angelo would pop back in, but he didn't. That lockery mask gland in the cat's eyes is probably affected more than the lockery mask gland in our eyes to tear us up. Tear. T-E-A-R as far as crying goes. Okay, The One Burner Bachelor. Not much else to report. It's a beautiful night. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.